In this tutorial, we will learn about shader properties. Because we had the feeling that you often need to fine tune a shader, we had decided to include shaders as properties. So, for example, the GLS Arraycaster has a fragment shader property, which you can edit. When you click on the Edit button, the Shader Editor window appears, and you can edit the shader, which belongs to this Raycaster. So let's see here. We have the shader, and okay, we have a little a few screen space here. But now we can edit the shader. For example, let's put this here. Make it smaller again. Okay. And so let's, for example, um, take care of our fragment color and multiply it so that we have a reddish color in here. Then you can press Ctrl R and you can see the effect immediately. Of course, you can always rework your shader, as we've done here, or you can load a shader or export the shader. So this makes it very easy to do shader editing in Marine and everything is serialized within the workspace and so you can um, save your changes. Let's look at another example. I was imagining the image processing shaders. So we have a unary and a binary. A binary has two inputs and a unary has one input. So we can drag it into the processor network. And by default, nothing is happening in here. But when we edit the associated fragment shader, we see that we have here our colors in here. And so now we can also edit this shader. And so we can also do different effects in here. I'm not very creative on this because I do the same thing and we make it more yellowish. But you can see that you can do the same in here. But of course, you could put more complex stuff in here, like edge detection, whatever you would like to do. You can put in here in the shader and it is serialized with the workspace. As I told you, you can also use the binary image processing processor. There you have two imports. And when you have a look at the associated fragment shader, you see that you have here two colors, shade color zero and shade color one, and two depth values, depth zero and depth one, which you can use to generate your output. So this concludes our shader editing tutorial.